Salutations everyone, this is Razor giving you guys some uh, gameplay commentary over some Uncharted 4 multiplayer. It is finally here and we get to experience this amazing multiplayer experience non-stop. Not, of course, not to mention, you know, the single player campaign, which everyone is going to have their own fun with, I'm sure. Uh, but the multiplayer of this game absolutely shines. If, if you played the open beta or the closed beta or really enjoy the uncharted uh, you know gunplay uh, here I should have I should have stayed on ledge and actually you know pulled her over but uh, that's that's fine we, we all we all make mistakes and I don't that was one of the few ones that I did make uh, within this game uh, using the uh, AK-47 your, your standard really offensive uh, kit to go in here I got grenades running El Dorado um, I, it's important to have, I think, uh, different kits uh, depending on the map and the situation. Uh, your your teammates, well, well, of course they do matter. Your teammates can screw you over if they split up too much or if they, they overextend their stay or if they don't, m most of the time, if they don't run away uh, often enough or if they don't stick together so that you or your opponents, you know, your other teammates aren't getting uh, too many asymmetrical fights and or are not able to heal uh, your downed uh, other teammates. Uh, but you can definitely absolutely solo crush people in this game mode. Uh, if you know what you're doing, if you know the maps, and you, you, you use your movement very well. That's one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of players make in this game. Uh, that either don't move enough or they move uh, too much. Mostly they move too much in bad instances, but most of the time they're not moving enough. They're not escaping... Um, they're not getting guaranteed kills when they know they can. There, I knew I was in a bad shape. Multiple people were shooting from behind me, but I had a guaranteed kill there for me. I wasn't going to let them get that revive, so I took the sure thing, even though I knew I was most likely going to die unless my teammates, you know, could, you know, get them off me, get a kill, maybe, you know, get a slick, slick headshot, and then possibly revive me or throw a revive pack. And this person just obviously did not know the uh, the map knowledge and thought they could escape through that way. So everyone's going to learn the maps. None of them are, I think, feel too complicated or what have you. Everyone's going to find their own weapon or uh, uh, equipment that best suits them, whether it's C4 or frag grenades. Or I, I have a healing kit that uh, has all has you know your upgraded healing uh, med kits as well as uh, you know your support in there. Just uh, didn't, grab, didn't grab the ledge, so I just fell to my death. Uh, I did not get a good swing. Um, it was just it was just a bad swing. So, uh, are, are already two deaths here, uh, but that's not too shabby. Um, I, I another mistake that I see a lot of players making is they like this guy. He went for a, a very unsafe revive. It's not like he didn't know where all of that all, hailfire bullets were coming from. Or what have you, and if you see someone throw it on C4, you can just go ahead, blow it up. Maybe you'll kill them in the process, at the very least, do some damage, which I did right here. Unfortunately, get they get the heal, but then I get the kill on the Elena that I downed, and then we get just finish up on their food. So, uh, wait a minute, this guy's still alive, let me just reload my AK, and let's just put a couple of bullets in his anus, because it's a suppository. That's, that's the way you gotta take these AK bullets, otherwise it could be even more deadly. As far as picking up the treasure around the map, um, if, if, if it's, if it's, if you're on, if it's on your way, you know, if you're on an abandoned side of the map, whether you don't see teammates or enemies, and it's, it's, it's barely out of your way to get, I say why not, because, you know, those will come in handy in, in, in obviously a lot of cases, because it'll help you get your super or, uh, a, a sidekick. And as far as the sidekicks go, I feel like the sniper is definitely uh, the least useful one since a they they, they don't like taking cover. Uh, they're pretty easy to avoid, and they have quite low health. And the fact that they don't move um, makes them easy targets, even if they are put in really good spots, like this little perch across uh, across the way there. Probably the best spot to put a sniper, but he's you know very very vulnerable. Um, the Brute is great at drawing aggro, also does pretty good damage. Missed the landing there, but that's alright. I do get the melee kill. Um, learning when and how to properly melee takes just a tiny bit of practice, um, but uh, it's one of those cases where if you know you can get the guaranteed kill, go for it, because it's not like a gun kill where 
uh, you know, maybe you, you miss a few shots or you are not properly loaded up on your magazine or uh, all of a sudden your opponent has uh, a teammate that's like right behind them, in which case, you know, you might not be able to finish them off or maybe you, you down them but you don't get the kill. But if you can get that charged melee kill, uh, that is definitely something that you should take, even in cases where you're outnumbered. Um, obviously, this isn't, you know, the best route to take in certain cases, but it is, um, if you have the right cover to get a single kill and then at least have an initial period of survival immediately after, uh, you, you might as well take it. If you can land the hit. I, I, I saw it in, the, in both the open and closed beta. People went for those charged melees a little bit too much. Um, just because they thought they can get a guaranteed kill, but you know if it's not safe It's not safe and while you can get rather quick kills in this game depending on the situation It's all about picking your battles uh, I saw I was I was while I maybe I could have gotten that Drake that was swinging on that rope Which I did end up doing uh, because he you know eventually fell I was just taking too much fire um, from the rest of his teammates along that corridor and then of course there's your map management if your opponents are, you know, engaged in a firefight, that'll be rather obvious. If not, they're typically going to be pointed towards where the enemy might be. Um, I've had a lot of practice on my map knowledge. There, I saw three uh, hostiles, so I'm like, I'm going to throw my Eldorado right there. Clean up the one that's closest to me, um, because that's the one that poses a greater threat to me, because I threw the Eldorado closer to the other two, just so I could have safer guaranteed kills. That's basically what you want to go for. The safe guarantee kills. Um, pick one gunfight at a time. Don't try to think too far ahead, um, especially when you are by your lonesome. Now you can win some, you know, asymmetrical fights where you're taking on two or three opponents at a time. Um, if you find yourself at an advantageous spot for the first kill. And here uh, they do have um, uh, a, sta a Chintamonti uh, staff uh, up so I am on the radar and now there's an Eldorado behind me so I, I just pulled out my power pistol and uh, two shot a couple of BZs unfortunately I hadn't already purchased it so I did have to go through the reload animation thankfully it didn't hurt me too much there uh, with the uh, Unica I believe it is and I, I was able to uh, secure those downs and uh, those kills as well as far as money management goes, you do mostly want to. I think I feel like you want to upgrade your off your 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 down directional, but whether that be your revive pack or your grenade or your C4. I feel like it's one. That's one of the first things you want to do. If you can, uh, depending on the kit that you're running, if you're running a Chintamani stone or Eldorado or a staff, I feel like you want to use the first the first time you get it. You want to use it relatively soon just so that the fight becomes in your favor because momentum has to do a lot with how the game progresses because of the way that the spawns work and how uh, the gameplay goes when you're with your teammates and when you're away from your teammates so it's definitely difficult for your opponents to get back from an early deficit of course it is possible and if they play it slow uh, they use their sidekicks and their map management to their advantage, they can pull it through, but I find that most of the time, if they find themselves in a hole and your teammates aren't uh, going down a lot together, whether you know they get you know double killed by an RPG or an Eldorado or something like that, as long as they're not getting killed in groups, um, you're gonna have a good time preserving that lead. And here I am, no, we're at the end of the game, so I threw that Eldorado, threw that grenade, unfortunately, couldn't kill our uh, uh, that guy right there, but I, I was able to help my teammates in the best way possible. Sometimes it's not about you getting the kill or you staying alive. It's about how within your life, for as long as that may be, how can that help your team secure a net positive amount of kills? Because sometimes you know you're going to die, but if you can help get your team uh, two kills and only your death, that's a positive for you. Or if you can save your teammates from dying, allow them to run away, then that could be good for you as well. So, rather solid game there. 22 downs, 18 KOs, 1 revive, 3 is 6, and 6 deaths. Grabbing a lot of cash on my way, and grabbing some relics because I'm a collector. It's what I do. It belongs in a museum. So yeah, uh, it's a really awesome, fun game, and uh, yeah, you should play it.